Hi guys and welcome to 60 Minutes with Rage 2. So this game is the sequel to the 2011 original by id Software. It's a shooter, open world, post-apocalyptic game and this one is developed by Avalanche Studios. So this video is sponsored by Nvidia and we're playing in 4K Ultra Graphics on an RTX 2080 Ti graphics card. Link is in the description if you want to know more about that and the frame rate is in the top left. With that said, I'm going to start the timer now, sit back, relax and enjoy. We had such plans for this world. Our Earth, so mercifully cleansed by the media they named Apophis. We had such plans. All thwarted by one man, Nicholas Green. With the push of a button, our future was ended. The arcs emerged. The eco-pods came tumbling down, all premature, pouring life back into the barren lands, starting the cycle of life anew, as we had planned to do with our own species. Our plans were thwarted by the naive and arrogant masses. The cleansing of our weakened species was hindered. Our aid selfishly refused. They chose their own pitiful existence over the future of the breed. Such hubris. They thought us defeated. We let them believe us defeated. But we moved underground. We watched their petty squabbles, their meaningless turf wars, their childish attempts at order from chaos, and we grew strong. Our science, our expertise, all aligned, all with one sole purpose. The surgical culling of the weak. Man reborn! We tear down the defenses! We take their compounds! We take the arcs! We raise their settlements and townships to the ground! Tonight marks the beginning of the cleansing! Tonight marks the rebirth of the authority! Nothing good. Better gear up and move out. And play the man. It's go time, right? Yeah, grab your gear. Oh, the wing stick. There it is. I'll secure the door. That was my kill. <laughs> you got a little faster, Walker. Lily, the closest thing I ever had to family. We grew up here in Vineland, raised by her drill sergeant of a mother. Me? I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. But there's plenty more where that came from. I'm telling you, this is the big one. All right. Well, let's go fucking get some. You're demonetized. Hey. On my way. How rude. Well, call. Not at all. It's gonna be hard to keep score. Nah, I was never much for counting. Oh my god. Walker, we need you in the courtyard. Now! We're on our way. We've got Lily too. We're clear. To warn the other settlements, they gotta know. I guess this is big then. Just snapped it on the comm box. This is the biggest attack I've ever seen. I'm serious. Then let's go. We're gonna go earn us a glory ribbon. Oh, glory stuff on the board. 
Feltrite cells. Pick up Feltrite cells from fallen enemies to regenerate health. Keep in mind that Feltrite cells are highly unstable and will dissolve if not picked up quickly. Got it. Oh, hey. Mom is expecting us at the courtyard. Health infusion. If you've taken a lot of damage, use a health infusion to regain vitality. Oh my Big god! One. What the? It's a ranger! Not just any ranger! That's Jersey! Oh no! Holy shit! <laughs> I took his whole head off! Oh, that's gross! Blood everywhere. So much for Ranger Jersey. It's not gonna defib out of that. That's nasty. Up to me now. Take it. Oh, that's even nastier. Shit. Mom's gonna skin you alive messing with Ranger gear. Uh, but it's still got a lot of Jersey in it. Yeah, but it's our only shot. Yeah! This is even better than I thought! That's a nice looking assault rifle. Onward? Switch weapons. Tap Q to quickly switch between recently used weapons or hold Q to access the full loadout. All I've got at the moment is my pistol and AR. On my way. Wing stick. The wing stick is a versatile and deadly gadget that can be used in combination with your other weapons. All right, let's try it out. Ooh. I'm not sure if it's a one-hit kill or it depends on the enemy, I suppose. <laughs> it comes back to you too. Let's carry on. Grenade. Use grenades to deal massive damage and even take out multiple hostiles that are huddled together. So I've got to switch to my grenade. Have a bit of that, son. The sounds are so crunchy in this game. Mom really tried to keep you out of that armor as long as she could. Wonder why. Getting jealous, Lily? Damn right I am. I would have been the young. Focus. Hold control to focus and highlight enemies and objects of tactical importance. There's always red explosive barrels, isn't there? Holy crap! Go up. Oh, well, that was a one-hit kill. Can we go up. This way. Walker, what's keeping you? Get over here. Hold on, Walker's inbound. Hey! A bit of environmental destruction there. You remember what they told us at the academy about the ranger armors? You can overdrive when it's charged. Cut your enemies to pieces. Overdrive. Kill enemies in succession to charge overdrive, which increases the damage that you deal. When fully charged, you can activate overdrive by pressing V. You also gain health. Cool. Here we go. Oh wow, right, that fires really quick. I mean, we made short work of them, didn't we?
We've got melee here. Stop that. Going up. Decorated war hero, ranger, and role model. Especially for Lily. She took me in when my parents died. <laughs> the meanest mom this orphan wildcard never asked for. Reporting for duty! Come here! She's a badass. That's Jersey's armor. Jersey. They killed him. You're brave enough to put on his armor? You're brave enough to do his job. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that's a bigger guy. Never seen anything so big. Makes an easy target. Can't be. He should be dead. General Cross? No. Oh my god. Lob the heads off. Oh dude, come on. That's not that's not cool. I want the first genus. Kill everything else. General Cross, the evil leader of the evil authority. Our own boogeyman. A bedtime story for naughty kids like me. I don't know if Prowley has lost it or if it's really true. You know this, though. If it is, I'm not going to stand for it. Son of a... Stand down. That's a direct order! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> But for you, I'll make an exception. No. For old times, Elwina. <laughs> After all, your uselessness is what once spared my life. <laughs> Okay, so big evil dude, final boss, have to fight him one day. I get it. Let's see if we can jumpstart this. Clear. Wait, wait, the fuck! Fuck's sake! Oh, I was conscious! Yeah, you were. But your shiny new armor needed a jolt. So this is it then. This is all that's left? Just over 20 survivors. We're still digging out the ruins. I saw Prowley. It was General Cross. He... He killed her. Kill my mother. I don't know how, but we gotta stop them. And I'll personally wring the neck of that goddamn wrinkled bastard. <laughs> I never really believed the stories that the authority would return. It's a big hand. Well, they did. And we gotta do something about it. Mom knew what to do, the Rangers knew. They kept their files, the logs. They kept them in the Presidio. 
The Ranger CP? You nuts? Only Rangers can go in there. Look at me, Lily. <laughs> I'm the only Ranger left. Holy shit. You really are. Gotta step up to the plate, Walker. Everything is destroyed. <laughs> it's all ruined. There's a little droney thing there. It's probably evil and controlled by Elon Musk. I hope you got something for me in here, Browley. There she is. down now let's see what kind of surprise you got for me here, ghost Browley arcs are extremely valuable and can contain both arc weapons and nanotrite abilities search for arcs across the wasteland to become more powerful please approach for security scanning let me in security scanning complete Welcome to Arc 401A. Oh, thanks. So I just stick my hand into this strange hole and hope for the best. Stick hand into strange hole. <laughs> okay. Oh. Welcome to the simulation chamber. It's the Matrix. In here, you will be able to gain proficiency in the use of your arc weapons any ID accessions. You have successfully installed ID accession dash. With the dash accession, you will be able to evade incoming threats and become harder to hit. As a ranger, the nanotrites inside you give you special abilities. These abilities are activated by using control. Dash. Tap control to dash in any chosen direction. Got a little cooldown. Good work. A simulation will allow you to train in the use of your dash accession to evade enemy fire. No. Use dash to avoid three incoming rockets. You're gonna fire rockets at me. Dodged it. Please repeat. Come on, give me another one. Hit me again. Oh. Oh, Try again. Let's go again. One more. Once more. Now I did you in. Good. You oh no! Have successfully completed 
your dash accession training. Done. I believe in the matrix. Completely normal, don't worry. What more do you want from me, Auntie? What is it? You've got your first ID accession. For you, there is more. There are many arcs still out there. Find them. Each arc contains valuable resources that will help your fight against the authority. But you can't fight them alone. You'll need help. If Lily is still alive, she will be invaluable to you. But there are other allies. People you may have only heard about. Around the end of the Authority Wars, a few of us in the inner circle of the Resistance initiated what came to be known as Project Dagger. It was designed to put an end to the Authority. Permanently. We knew it wasn't likely that they'd just disappear despite their losses. And furthermore, we knew that General Cross was in possession of technology that allowed him something akin to eternal life. Project Dagger was scrubbed when Vineland closed its gates to outsiders. But a pact of sorts remained between me and the other three original Daggers. First, John Marshall of Gun Barrel. A tough, no-nonsense old war horse who led the first fight against the Authority. He understands the importance of technology and spycraft better than anyone. His skills will help keep you off the Authority's radar. Second, Lucem Hagar of Wellspring. Daughter of war hero Dan Hagar. She went from guerrilla fighter to mayor of the greatest city in the wasteland. Her access to military grade vehicles will be indispensable. And then there's Dr. Anton Kvasir, ex authority scientist turned resistance fighter. He's a genius when it comes to nanotrite technology and mutations. His skills are a cornerstone in the Dagger Project. You will want to know more down the road. Your Ranger Armor CPU has logs that will be able to answer many of your questions. Good luck out there. Walker. So I've got to find those three guys. God damn it. So you thought you'd just dump all that on my shoulders and waltz off into oblivion, huh, Aunt Prowley? Well then, I guess it's all up to me now. I'm going to save the world. There are three different people there, so I guess I've got a choice here. Not that way. That's a pretty tall order. Yeah, your mother is no nonsense, even from the afterlife. Too soon, Walker. Sorry, Lily. But hey, I'm ready to trek out into the wasteland. I think I got just the thing. Come see me. There she is. So, what you got? Well, I've got lots of ideas for projects, and with your help, we can get them off the ground. They're gonna be key to your survival out there. So, let's get you your ride. Yes, vehicles. Okay, projects. Welcome to the project screen. Here you are able to purchase projects using project points that you have earned. Projects give a large variety of benefits. At the moment, you only have access to Lily's basic projects, so let's head over there. View projects. The first project that you can purchase unlocks the vehicles menu. It will also reward you with your very own combat vehicle, the Phoenix. I think it's that there. The vehicles menu gives access to vehicle upgrades and allows you to call in a vehicle wherever you need one. Go ahead and purchase it now by selecting it and holding F. Okay, here we go. First vehicle. Fantastic, you've unlocked the vehicles menu. Got it. Wicked. Look at that. Oh, awesome. The garage is online and Phoenix is good to go. There are more projects here that would benefit the two of us. You need to beef yourself up, and I need to get Vineland into some semblance of order. If you're lucky, your three dagger project contacts will offer you a similar deal, because you sure need to get tough to take on the authority. Thanks for the tip. All right, I'm heading out. It's a big bad world out there, so be careful. And don't go messing people over. You're a ranger now. You better act like it. Oh, and John Marshall in Gun Barrel is your closest dagger. You might want to start there. And be careful. We need you. 
Hmm, understood. So that's the vehicle there, I think. The Phoenix, look at that. Oh, free roam. Welcome to the wasteland. You can use the map to locate and track things you can do in the open world. As we explore, more things you can do will be added to the map. Oh. Come back soon, Walker. It's beautiful. Let's jump in. Well, look at you. A fresh ranger. I'm Phoenix. I know I look good, but I drive better. Let's you and me go for a spin. <laughs> it's got a voice. Oh, here we go. Right, it's going open world now. So this is like the basis of the game. Big open world, lots of vehicles. Compounds, bases that you attack, missions to take on. I think if I press tab, take a look at the map here. It actually looks massive. <laughs> That's huge, I can't really tell. It's a question mark up here, undiscovered location. So she said the Marshall was the closest, I think. Yeah, that's that one, Blackout. So if I right click, that's going to put a marker down and we'll head over there. I've got a dash, I think it said. Right click, dash, handbrake. I've got guns. Oh, hey, what are you? Hey, wait, 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 stop. Trader. Found roaming the roads in the wasteland, the roaming trader offers a large variety of goods that you can buy from. You can also sell your junk. Honk your horn. Hey, stop. Oh, he stopped. He opened up. Hello? Standby mode initiated. That's awesome. Are we cool? I am Garcia the Gregarious. <laughs> trader and traveler, merchant of fine... Merchandise? Peter, who may you be? I may be Walker. Are we really speaking like this? <laughs> well, of course. That is how we show our caliber. And that is why you want to trade with only me. My wares are quite... superb. Mm. Let me then scrutinize your vendables. Oh, with <laughs> pleasure. I know I have something to tickle your fancy. Well, I don't have any cash, so I can't buy anything. Sorry, mate. I'll come back later when I've got a bit more cash. So you got umbrellas on the side. And a chair at the top. <laughs> it's like an old ice cream van. Anyway, back in the Phoenix. Systems activating. I mean, that sounds so cool. I mean, look at the size of this place. I bet there's so much to explore. Think about the Easter eggs. I got eyeballs on a roadblock. It's man-made. I think an ambush. Yep. You should see if you can clear that clog up. Right, so I've got to destroy this, I guess. Road chokers. Road chokers are trade coalition roadblocks that have been taken over. Clear the outpost and raise the blockers. I right, got it. And jump out. Good There's something here. An ammo crate. Cool. Uh, enemies. Somewhat there. Shoot the barrels. We've got overdrive. Why not? Oh my god! <laughs> Those rag dolls, man. Are we clear? I think we're clear. Let's get that open. Cool. There's a button there. It just opens and closes the door. I only got $100 for that. But I increased my reputation with Lily by the looks of it. Projects. You've earned a project point. You can use these to purchase projects which will benefit you in all aspects of the game. Roadblocks blocking days are over. All clear. Yeah, the coalition's gonna love that. Yeah. 
Is there anything around here that I can... Uh... Mad Max over there? What is that? <laughs> this game is so random. Oh, a loot crate. Money. Yes. I got more money for just opening that crate than doing the mission. It's very old school, isn't it? You shoot crates to get ammo. Dynamite. Right, I suppose I should get back in the old Phoenix. Look at this. Nice looking game, isn't it? Hang on. That's a mannequin with a bucket on its head. <laughs> that thing went flying. What's this? Felt trite engine. Maybe that's some kind of a quest or completion objective or something. We did it. Kind of like the, the Batmobile from the Walker, new Christopher Nolan listen. movies. We're still gonna meet Mayor Luthum, right? Yeah. We are. Is that... Was that someone just lying down on the road? Oh, you're so dead. <laughs> you gotta dodge. It's simple. There's a balloon in the sky there. And what is that? Looks like something out of Star Trek. So, there's a big tower just standing here. It's got authority written all over it. Sounds like a sentry tower. Leftovers from the war. Usually they will fire at anything that comes too close, so be careful if you're going to go for it. Ow! Right, I think that's some kind of optional objective. I don't like it. <laughs> I'll come back for you when I've got more weapons, I think. See, that nearly destroyed the vehicle. I don't like that. There's so many paths and offshoots here. Little outpost there. Broken tract. A new region. Oh, a guy in a bike. Vehicle combat. Not only is the Phoenix great to drive, but it's deadly as well. I get different weapons in this? Lock on missiles. 20 millimeter cannons. Pretty... <laughs> pretty powerful. Uh, it actually fires faster the longer you shoot it. Oi, that's not cool. Wow. Are you dead? Yeah, I think you're dead. It's kind of a different biome, this, isn't it? It's a bandit post. Looks like they're hauling fuel. It's a support pit. Topping tank for convoys and raids. Destroying that fuel should put a dent in their mobility. All right, let's do it. Maybe if I jump out. Standby mode initiated. Pit stops. Areas the goon squad, the goon squad, can fill up their vehicles with stolen fuel. Destroy the all the fuel containers. <laughs> Bit of a grammatical error there. All right, we go sicko mode. Have some wing stick, mate. And you. Such nice cowboy hats, though. I 
Now this feels very rage. He was pretty tough. Now he's armoured. A bit tougher. Uh, right, I'm going to change to my grenade. I think that'll do the trick. Yeah, there was a few more, wasn't there? A couple there. Boom. One more somewhere. Right there. So is that going to give me rep with Lily again, or someone else? Yeah, Lily. Sweet. Fuel is up in smoke. Literally. I wish I was there to see the black smoke pillars lick the skyline. There's all sorts to explore. Can I not melee that? Yeah. Got plenty of pistol rounds. Anyway, let's go see this Marshall dude. Are you evil? No, you're friendly. It's very Mad Max, isn't it? I love that pink, pink smoke. What is that? Focus. I'm checking into the clinic. Wait for me. Oh, this is how I fix it. I see. Bad blocker and feeling good. There we go. Full health. I don't think I actually have the upgrades yet. I'm sure we'll get them in the future. Anyway, I think I'm nearly there. That sound is so good. Welcome to Gun Barrel. I'm John Marshall. John? We're here, sport. Good luck out there. Oh, thank you. Look after yourself. Hey, you look tough enough. You interested in some wet work? Yeah. You know, knock some heads, shoot some 200 muties at the paste. Not looking for a job. I'm here to see John Marshall. Yeah, as it happens, he's the one looking for a skill trigger for him. We got muty problems in gun barrel, see? And we can't do shit until we've fucking rectified that. Yeah, we'll see about that. Where do I find him? He's in the Dud Primer Tavern. Always in the Dud Primer. Can't miss him. Old, scarred, mean, Robo Peg, Robo Peeper, half spares, half guy, you know. And they're now. Understood. Oh, uh, whatever that false little greed about tells you, don't try the slime vocal Jimmy Chunga. Unless you want to puke your guts out in the thoroughfare. <laughs> Trade towns. You'll find many types of traders who you can buy from and sell to. And you can fast travel. Right, I wondered if that was going to be in the game. This is kind of like a bit of a mission social hub, I guess. It's very well populated. A data pad. Greetings, faithful reader. Well, I'm not going to read that. Hey there. We're on the clock here, guys. What are you? I don't like that. Hey, Carter. Hey. hey. What's up, guys? Look at this lighting. It's very cyberpunky. That's nice. Now I'm telling you, that's bad intel, Gulo. Oh, give me, you just need a tiny gulp, Marsh. No, you don't get true swill if you don't give true talk. Oh, I speak the day's true, Marsh. Violence destroyed. Yeah, right. Blown right to shit by mega bad tech mutants. <laughs> I ain't biting, Gulo. <laughs> You're just looking for a free fix to swill here. Vineland is gone. <gasps> See? I was talking true. Don't plug it all at once. Ranger, huh? Oh, I haven't seen a ranger here in a long time. 
John Marshall, legendary resistance fighter, war hero. We grew up on stories about this guy. I gotta admit, I was expecting something more impressive. I mean, he's pretty impressive. Look at that beard. It's glorious. Seems impossible. Vineland's defenses were impenetrable. So we all thought. We weren't ready for them. We weren't ready for the authority. They're back then. I'm guessing you'll hear about the Dagger Project. Problem is, we're under a whole different kind of siege here. Muties. They're clogging up our power turbine in the sewers. Now, if uh, someone was to take care of that... If that's what it takes to get Dagger online, show me what to kill and where. <laughs> you catch on fast. I sent down every Renna killer who walked in here, but they all end up dead. Not me. It won't take long. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna go to the sewers. Trader Intel. Intel traders sell valuable information about locations that may be of interest to you in the wasteland. So talk to people, unlock missions, and find stashes and stuff like that, I'd guess. Really fleshing this out, aren't they? Goodbye, Just weird robot. Up at the market before venturing into those sewers, Ranger. You get that power back for me, and Dagger's back on track. Hello? Blister Kingsway. They've got such weird names. Is this the market? Trader General. General traders both sell and buy various common items as well as rare upgrade items such as nanotripe boosters and weapon well, core mods. <laughs> if it ain't my, don't be shy now. How much money have I got? 465. Punchy's the name. Maybe your peeps told you about me. I got the goods you need out here, and I ain't too high and holy to deal with Vineland people. <laughs> How do you know I'm from Vineland? Ah, you got the outfit, see? I recognize the Doddlers. Uniform like that. The Rangers get them. That means you with Prowley. And that means you can deal with me. Okay, let me take a look at what you have. Well, I'm just gonna buy ammo, really. I've got plenty of ammo there, I think. Maybe too much. What is that? Come back now. A humble bird. Marshall sent you, huh? Yep. Third one this week. Let's hope you got something they didn't. I've got the skills to pay the bills, and you'll see why. There's an underground stream down in these old sewers. We hooked it up to a turbine generator. Makes us completely independent. As in, we got our own power supply. We don't have to buy no feltride from greedy traders fixing the market and playing dirty. Mother Nature provides. And how's that working out for you? Well, apart from the occasional wrench in the works, like, uh, say a beauty infestation clogging up the turbine, we're good. We got our own juice. Plus, there's always a gun for hire to do the jobs if things go south. That's what I am? A hired gun? Hell no. You're a ranger. That's a whole different enchilada. Whoa. A whole lot spicier and meatier. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. Just making sure, Marshall. Just making sure. A whole different enchilada. <laughs> spicier and meatier. <laughs> I like that. All right, we got some muties, as he called them. Some components there. Hey, Marshall. Did you know there's an arc down here? Oh. Just sitting there. Oh, yeah. Maybe you got the nanotrike config it takes. See if you can't get it to open sesame for you. I got this. For security scanning. Security Second upgrade. Scanning complete. Welcome to ARC 402A. Come on, I want to stick my arm in. It's an ARC tech shotgun. Oh, yes. Oh, Combat I'm shotgun. These and old hollow logs. That looks cool. Unstoppable force at close range with the potential to knock enemies back. Come on, shotgun. I don't need a tutorial for shotguns. It's a shotgun. Accepted. In precision aim, the shells lead are melted into a single solid slug with 
great knockback capabilities. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is a great knockback. Sequence completed. I have to admit. So the picking up the guns thing. Combat shotguns overdrive against the simulated enemies. I will. The picking up the gun thing was like uh, a big thing with the first game. Every time you got a new weapon, it would do this cool cinematic animation thing. And it, it looks like they've carried that across to this game. Now give me some real targets. Turn me on the matrix. Ah, the old corridor sweeper. Eh? Upgrades. Abilities and weapons found in arcs can be upgraded. To upgrade your abilities and weapons, you can find nanotrite boosters and weapon core mods in arc chests and shops. Here we go, some real targets. Oh! Right, right click. I love those ragdolls. It just makes it into a slug. Mutant Spore. There's a loot box back here. More money. Hey! Stop feasting on the dead. Now this feels very rage. <laughs> I know I said the previous thing did, but this mutants running at you. These spores. Got some components. Oh, your legs. Smelly soap car, was that? Or smelly soap bar or something? I was gonna say, I forgot about my wing stick. Makes light work of these guys. their voices get some heels in I love that red lighting sit down I mean I suppose we go through the spores it's quite spory crouch through that one yeah. No, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> that explosion effect is great. How did that miss? Oof. The sound effects, man, so good. Go by me. You just open it. Lots of pink in the color scheme. I like it. Hey. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my god. The suicide bomber. Doesn't quite have the range. Ow. I need to do that from further away. 
Not the water. Collect all the things. What do I collect them for, though? I reached the turbine. Like you said, it's gummed up with some nasty mutant goo. Yeah, you made it all the way down to Muty Central, and you're still standing. Outstanding work, Ranger. Now you just need to find the lid and crack it open. Then you can flush it out. Oh, hell. Oh, hey. Yeah, he's a big guy. Right, definitely going to use overdrive here. Oh, dude. That made short work of him. Who's next? I mean, I can take anyone on. He had like a minigun or something. Can I not use the minigun? I've only got six shells left. Where am I going? At the top. One down, one to go. I think that's like a collateral as well. It goes through them. One shot left. Let's make the most of it. <laughs> he went flying. Once it's all flushed, close the lid. That'll reboot the turbine. Oh, the guns are very satisfying in this. I've done a good job there. Need to remember to use that dash as well. Is that someone's leg? I think we did it. Hey. Hey, we got power. Can't believe you made it. Those were some tough duties, Ranger. You cut through them like butter. I did. But now I want to get the hell out because this place stinks worse than a grunt barrack septo tank. Now it shouldn't be too <laughs> What hard. is that? There's an old service elevator down there. Leads directly into my armory. Oh, I've got a nice way out there too. I hope it works. Take me home. Project Dagger. Now that's one for the books. It was me, Doc Kavasir, Lucem Hagar, and your own Sergeant Prowley. You do know Sergeant Prowley. She raised me. Made me into the killing machine I am today. I figured. You have that uh, extra something about you. Like you've been trained by the meanest and the best. She didn't make it. She was killed in the attack. I'm sorry to hear. That explains why you're here, I guess. Filling in for Prowley. Whatever it takes to crush the authority. Amen. By the way, what's your handle? Call me Walker. Walker it is. It's a cool name, Walker. I like it. Ranger Walker. There you are. Hello, bud. This is my armory. My base of operations. From here, I'll be able to start working on Project Dagger. Now, with the juice flowing freely again, there are a few more projects I could use some help with. Walker, these projects come with benefits for you, too. While I'm setting up Dagger, you might as well get beefed up for the grand goddamn cataclysm. Don't know if you know, but Project Dagger involves you driving a jury-rigged tank into Authority Headquarters alone and manually distributing a nanotripe murder mickey into the grand ghoul himself, General Cross. Sounds like fun. Guess I better get busy then. Guess you better. I'll reach you on the comm box when I need you. Cool, projects. Congratulations, you've unlocked Marshall's projects. These are mainly focused around combat. So we've got upgrades for the first one. Overdrive multiplier. Increase the cap for the overdrive multiplier to 10 times. All right, I'll get that. But what about the new guy? Kill and destroy. Here we go, John Marshall. Upgrades available. 
Some of Marshall's projects are available from the start, but others require you to unlock new tiers by leveling up his operations. Okay, so we've got to do stuff and... Okay, wow, there's a lot of stuff here, isn't there? Bullet bag. Carry 25% more of each type of bullet ammunition. Carry more throwables. Pain resistance. Surprise attack. Grenade tennis. Grenades can be deflected with a well-timed melee strike. <laughs> oh, that sounds awesome. I like the sound of a surprise attack too. I can't spend any more points right now. I don't have any. Cool, right, so there's a lot of stuff to do there, and then I've got a another two. Grab whatever. You'll need every edge you can get. Thank you. Well that was a nice little linear <laughs> mission there, wasn't it? You know, that there it feels is. very uh oh. little dagger puzzle piece. A scrambler. You're gonna need it if you want to get past authority ground sec. But it still needs a bunch of work. Got it. It felt very corridor shooter, but it was well crafted. I like that. And now we go back into the open world, I guess, and perhaps we could meet one of those other guys. I don't know if we'll have time though, I'm a bit conscious. Hey. We've only got like four minutes. Story. Thanks. Uh, I needed this because, well, see? Really needed it. I mean, really. Hmm. She sounds quite horny. There are things that you can get for that. <laughs> Let's move out. I don't like that at all. Okay, how do I get out of this place? This way, I think. Ranger, power's back online. Outstanding work. Thank you. Right, back in the Phoenix. Systems activating. Walker. I need you to get busy on my operations. And don't forget, I have projects that'll help you when you do. Alright, deal. So where would I go next? Lusum. Or the crazy Russian dude. Put the marker up there. Let's go, it's turned to night as well. I do wonder if this has weather in it. Or is it just day-night cycles, or can it rain? Are there storms, anything like that? In the rocky mountainous areas, are there... Hey guys. Oh, Are there bits of snow or biomes or anything like that? <laughs> that is so fun. Are they friendly? Yeah, I think they're friendly. You're not dead? Wow. That's cool, man. But you know what? I've really enjoyed the first hour. We've only got like a minute and 25 seconds or something like that to go. But yeah, this was really fun. I'm definitely interested in, in playing more. It's kind of like a grungier Far Cry in a lot of ways. I mean, Rage was kind of similar to this, you know, open world and lots of different settlements and up on a hostile outpost here. things to see and do, quests intermingled you, with dungeon corridor style areas. You gain some goodwill by murdering those goons. But there must be all sorts of abilities that you can get because I think there's like four in the bottom left and I imagine at some point you'll be able to customize what they are like I think I saw a ground slam in the trailers and you know that kind of thing it does slow motion every now and again look at this tower I mean there's gonna be some crazy characters in this isn't there 
Destination Wellspring. Finally. Now let's see if we can't get a hold of Mayor Lusum Hagar. Oh, this looks nice. Big old tower there. Don't clap back. If you basic, <laughs> you basic. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But that, guys, is one hour. So I'm going to stop there. The alarms start going off. Good timing. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I quite enjoyed that first hour. I feel like it's going to expand a lot. But once again, this video was sponsored by NVIDIA. And we were playing on an RTX 2080 Ti. Ultra graphics. Ran quite nice, to be honest, especially considering we're in 4K. But there it is, guys. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.